You know, I'm wondering if there's some unique insight to be had there from individuals who have sort of reached the pinnacle. I want to say something that kind of relates to a comment you were making right at the beginning of the show. And uh, certainly I've worked for several uh, multi-billionaires. Rich DeBoss, um, one of my early jobs uh, when I got out of uh, graduate school, um, and I was coaching at Grand Valley State and was making nothing like most young coaches, I managed the fitness facilities at the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel in downtown Grand Rapids and ultimately became the fitness director for uh, uh, everything that they had going on on that side of, the, of, the, of life in the, in the 80s. This is a man um, who never went to college, mm. or if he did, he certainly didn't graduate. And um, by the time I would really come to know him, I had met him once before, but by the time I would come to know him, he and his partner uh, in business, a guy by the name of uh, Jay Van Andel, were the owners and operators of, and get your head around this one, the world's largest privately held company. That's, you know, that's mind boggling. Mm -hmm. But um, then uh, Mike Illich, uh, you know, he did not finish college. He was a college and uh, ulti- almost, almost a major league baseball player, but uh, did not graduate from college. There was a gentleman uh, that we just lost recently that was a real uh, mentor to me. And he was the uh, guy that put me in a position to both coach and run the business of his new team, Mark Hamister, who... Uh, you know, made his considerable uh, fortune primarily in, in uh, uh, health care, but in some other areas as well, did not finish college, left college to go to work. And uh, so many of these guys um, were not um, bound by rules that you have to do it this way. They had an open mind to and open eyes to always look for when it's time time to move. And I will tell you one other thing that most of the, the successful people in life that I have known is they not only have the, the, and it takes a great amount of confidence to just change directions. Hell, you know, uh, some, some of these people, I'm one of them, change careers, you know, in, in totally in midstream. Well, it takes a certain amount of confidence to do that. Um, and I'm going to share it with a personal experience. My uh, late great uh, Uncle Jack Labby, uh, when I was involved, as you're aware, we now uh, uh, produce uh, officially licensed NCAA feature length documentary films. Mm-hmm. And we do a lot of writing and production assignments. And when I was working on my very first one, it was a book. And he said to me, not meaning to be insulting in any way or disrespectful. But he said to me, Dave, whatever made you think you could write a book? Uh, and my response was not a, you know, it was right. I, I just said it never occurred to me that I couldn't. Exactly. You know, and, and I think that's the thing that a lot of uh, my mentors and the people that I've been fortunate enough to, to learn from had that trait where it just never occurred to them that 